Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at what is Windows Auto-Tuning and why you should or shouldn't play around with it. For the most part, it came out in Windows Vista. It was designed to automatically or dynamically improve the performance of programs that receive data over TCP data over a network. Now, if you're going, what? I don't blame you. What you need to know is it should be enabled and it should be left alone except in very rare cases where maybe you have an older router Wi-Fi network card that doesn't support that feature. So if you think Windows Auto Tuning is causing you slow internet problems, let's take a look at it. We're going to copy this code that you see right here, and then we're going to open a command prompt or PowerShell. So let's grab that or get ready to type it, and then we're going to and look for the code for the little eye up here in the YouTube video or in the video description if you want to go to the page and copy and paste this code. Windows key plus X. Let's do PowerShell as admin, and let's do control V. What we're looking for is normal. Normal means default, normal means it's on. So what you might wanna do is Google speed test and consider running a speed test. I've got it minimized to kinda of hide my IP address down here. So here is my current run. Ping will always change a little bit, but I'm in the 170. 12. I'm just going to look at those two numbers just to make it simpler to understand. Okay, 171.12. All right, let's disable it. Very easy to do. Here's your code to disable. Right there. And there's your code to enable again. It's that simple. You could do this back and forth with no harm, no foul. Let's put it in. There's your OK. And once again, if you're not sure, just come back up and grab this and make sure you know where you're at. So let's look. It should say disabled now, and it does right there. So I'm going to minimize this, and then we're going to jump back over now that it's off. And let's, if now that Windows Auto Tuning is disabled, and let's see what it does. So let's click go again on speed test. That's speedtest.net. And it's going to take a minute for that to run to see what the results are. I hate to be the one to give you the spoiler alert here but uh, it's not gonna change anything so again it, it's very rare cases but if you want to check it this is how easy it is if somebody told you to check your auto tuning so as soon as that's done again I'm gonna enable it and again while the speed test is running if you're having problems with your network go to the page again the I or in the video description how to improve your wireless network performance how to reset your network settings flushing the Windows DNS cache those three right there can be pretty handy if you've confirmed that your speeds are a little bit slow. So if you're using wireless, this is how to improve your wireless network performance. I'm pretty proud of that tutorial. That is pretty good. And there's a lot of explanation from wired to wireless drivers, location, changing your channel, optimizing your connection, using a better antenna, blah, blah, blah. You can see I really think I covered most of the bases there. At least I hope I did. Well, let's see how we're doing on our speed test. Yeah. So we're in the same neighborhood, 230s, 240, 12. So I know for a fact that auto-tuning changed nothing. So once again, now that I've confirmed it, we know we're disabled. We're going to copy that code in. We're going to hit Enter and OK. And once again, just to be sure, as you can see, it made no difference. So I don't really know if we care at this point. But you do want to leave it with the default so that it says normal when you're done. That's it. And there you have it. a little information on Windows Auto Tuning for you. I hope we helped you out. Bottom right hand corner should be a subscribe popping up right around here somewhere. I don't know. That's about it. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.